Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Pakistan Air Force had commissioned the first batch of 6 J-10 C fighter aircraft in March this year. It has recently received the second consignment of 6 J-10 C fighter aircraft from China which is being referred to as Dragon from the East by Pakistan Air Force taking the total number of J-10C to 12. Earlier, the serial number 22-101 to 22-106 were delivered and now if the reports are correct, it will be 22-107 to 22-112. Talking about the J-10C fighter jet, it is a medium weight, single engine, multi-role combat aircraft capable of all-weather operation, configured with a delta wing and canard design along with fly-by-wire flight controls. Initially, it was powered by Russian AL-31FN engine which can generate 79.43 kN of dry thrust and 125 kN of thrust with afterburner. However, we have seen images which shows two J-10C equipped with Chinese domestically developed WS-10B Taihang turbofan engines which have better thrust than AL-31F engines in the range of 120-140 kN. The engine also has greater reliability and thrust than its predecessor WS-10A. It has also demonstrated the thrust vectoring capability. The J-10C is a larger and can be equipped with a bigger active electronically scanned array AAC radar than the one which was used in JF-17 Block 3. The fighter aircraft features an indigenously developed AESA radar with 1200TR modules and with new WS-10B engine, these radars should be able to get enough power for them to operate in their full potential. It features lighter, stealthier, divertless supersonic inlet, a longer nose radome housing and AEC radar, an electro-optical targeting sensor, and a new electronic warning or countermeasure pod atop the vertical stabilizer. The J-10C can carry more advanced fourth generation air to missiles including the short-range PL-8 and PL-10 and beyond visual range PL-15. The PL-15 claims to have a range in excess of 200 km. In Juha Air Show 2021, China unveiled an export variant of PL-15 named PL-15E with a maximum range of 145 km. This missile is going to increase challenges for Indian Air Force, though Indian Air Force has now indigenous Astra Mark one Israel's IDRB and MBDA Meteor missiles in its inventory. At present, Pakistan Air Force has close to 400 fighter jets in service that includes 134 JF-17 Thunder which forms the backbone of their Air Force, 75 F-16, 69 Mirage 5, 60 Mirage 3, 47 F-7 PG Skybolt which is MiG-21 license built by China and 12 newly inducted J-10C. If you look at the most potent fighter aircraft in the inventory of Pakistan Air Force, it will always be F-16. However, the induction of J-10C has added an additional capability into their inventory which we cannot ignore with latest electronics, avionics, engine and weapons which is as per the 4.5th generation fighter aircraft standard. The fighter jet is thought to be an answer to Indian Rafale. However, it lacks severely when we compare to the weapons package, sensors, quality and performance with Rafale. The J-10C is still a decent fighter and it cannot be ignored. India had inducted 36 Rafales and it has to be ready for two front war situation. In fact, we can say 2.5 front war situation considering Pakistan at the west and Ladakh in the north and again we have Arunachal Pradesh in the eastern sector. Pakistan has total 400 fighter aircraft in its service though they might not be on par with Indian fighter jet and they still have maintenance and spare part issue still they can add a decent punch in the war as numerical superiority can exceed or supersede the quality. Overall we can say this is good news for Pakistan Air Force because they are adding the fighter jet strength slowly and steadily and recently even America has been ready to provide the spare parts for their F-16 fighter aircraft. This will also add some pressure on Indian Air Force to finalize the MRFA or soon order additional Rafales and fast track the upgrade of Su-30 MKIs. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector